I think it's time to check out the basement fish room. Let's take a little tour. Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel. If you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. I do appreciate all you guys watching and uh, commenting. So let's get into this basement fish room, the one that I've been talking about for months now. I did make a video on this a couple months ago, but I ended up taking it down rather quickly because I ended up changing it around again and I wasn't crazy about the first one I made. So let's give this another shot. Here we go. All right, guys, so here we go. Here is the basement fish room in a nutshell. I had about 27 tanks up and running in this fish room uh, just about a month ago. I ended up downsizing it um, for a couple of reasons. Um, still trying to figure out what I want to do with this fish room exactly. So what am I talking about? Let's, uh, let's take a look. You'll see I have an assortment of tanks down here one being this planted tank that i really like it's a 90 gallon planted tank it does have the uh, overflow box built into it with a 29 gallon sump underneath down below we'll take a look at that in a second but uh this is just a community tank uh, some nice angels and assorted community fish it's kind of the uh, relaxation tank to me compared to all of the uh, badass cichlids, if you want to call them that. You know, the nasty, aggressive fish that I love so much that always fight. Um, anyway, so this is a more toned down tank with angels, grommies, tetras, quarry cats, all that fun stuff. A bunch of live plants. Pretty cool tank. This tank, actually, I think we are going to actually move upstairs to one of our um, living rooms. And this will be more of a showpiece upstairs um, instead of being down here in the basement hiding um, I did make this canopy and stand everything you see here I made except for the tank itself of course so that is the 90 gallon tank let's check out what else we have down here all right so this tank does look familiar to most of you i am sure this is the 120 gallon tank the last time you saw this tank was probably the video i made with the diy 3d background of course uh if you're not familiar this is one of the backgrounds that i have built excuse me um out of foam and this one is actually covered in cement this tank, of course, as you can see, still does not have fish in it. It's been running for about a good month and a half now, if not two months. Uh, I'm trying to go or figure out which way I'm going to go with this tank. I know a lot of people uh, have commented that I should do uh, something like Trophius, maybe make it a Lake Tanganyika tank. Uh, I'm not really sure. I'm not really um, into Trophius, to be quite honest. They just don't really do much for me. That's just my personal preference. But... Um, I'm not opposed to trying them. I've, I had uh, Trophius de Boise a long time ago. They were pretty cool. So uh, I may give it a shot again just to uh, see how it goes. So that uh, may very well be a good, uh, a good choice for this tank. We will see. Uh, this tank, of course, is four feet long and two feet front to back. And I'm um, not really sure how tall it is. Doesn't really matter. Probably about 26, 27 inches, whatever. Um, this canopy and stand um, I built just uh, simple 2x4s and 2x6 for the most part, nothing special. Uh, this is my uh, DIY, one of my DIY sumps of course. Uh, this one in particular, a little, little different uh, setup, I did change this around recently. It has the drip plate uh, that I did make out of acrylic and then down below here is uh, a bunch of poured foam that it uh, is kind of like a wet dry filter and then some actual salt water uh, base rock it helps maintain the hardness of the water and the pH so moving on from there uh, this tank actually will hopefully be getting fish I'll probably throw some fish in there this week start uh, getting this tank going because it's just been uh, sitting here long enough for no reason really uh, next to it is a 75 gallon tank with uh, African cichlids. Uh, they are peacocks and haps for the most part. There are a few embuna in there. As you can see, the yellow um, embuna, the yellow labs. 
Uh, this again is another 3D background that I did make myself out of uh, foam. And uh, these guys basically, this is basically a grow out tank. So a bunch of nice, uh, really nice fish in here in my opinion. I really love the um, dragon bloods that are in here specifically. I, probably one of my favorite fish just because of the color. Um, so there are some really, really nice dragon bloods in here. I have used some as um, breeder males and will probably continue to do so uh, along with this electric blue alley, hap, friary, wherever you want to call them. Can't get the camera to focus on them, but uh, some really nice, uh, really nice fish in here. The tank down below it, it's another 75 gallon tank with another one of my DIY 3D backgrounds. This tank is kind of just a holding tank for a couple random uh, fish in here just to keep the cycle going really. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this tank. I may use it as a grow out tank or I may set it up as something different. Uh, if you guys have any uh, comments or suggestions, please let me know. Um, I'm actually possibly even thinking about throwing some live plants in here and going maybe a, I don't know, discus route or something else. I don't know yet, but um, time will tell. I'll probably be switching that around this week. We already took a look at the 90 gallon planted tank. Here is the sump. If you guys haven't seen the sump on this tank, it's a 29 gallon DIY sump utilizing the filter sock. <clears throat> it works really good, so I love these sumps as you guys already know. Turn that off and let's check out what we have going on in all of these tanks. All right, so uh, here we are with all the lights off down here just to get a, uh, a better view of what it normally looks like down here under normal conditions with lights off. All the tanks, here's my uh, RO system, RODI for the salt water uh, right here. These guys, this is connected to my salt water tank to top off that. The uh, top set of filters here is for the freshwater tanks, all the freshwater tanks down here in the basement fish room for the auto top off on all of them. So I do not have to do it manually. And then up top, of course, is my large air pump. It's a Gemco, um, I think it's LP is the code, LP80. So that takes care of all the tanks down here, except for the two that have the sumps on them, of course. So um, that's pretty much it with the basement fish room right now. Like I said, I, I downsized it to 15 tanks. Um, this whole uh, rack of nine tanks here, uh, the three on the left vertically are 29 gallon tanks. Um, the rest of the other six are 40 gallon breeder tanks. This is my breeder section. So the uh, six, uh, I should say really five of the 40 gallon breeder tanks are actually uh, breeding right now. And then we have uh, three tanks, different stages of fry. These are just uh, red zebra and buna for now. I'm not a big buna fan, but I did have uh, a few uh, pairs that did um, that did breed on me. So uh, I'm stuck with those guys for now. Uh, this tank is great down here. I have a handful of really nice uh, OB peacocks, some albino firefish, and some dragon bloods in here. Also mixed with uh, a handful of um, yellow lab and buna. So I do like the yellow lab and buna, so I think they're pretty cool. Down here, uh, tiny, tiny, if you can see, they're only just a couple weeks old. There's actually about 100. Um, they are a mix of um, OB peacocks and um, dragon bloods. So that'd be kind of cool. Uh, albino firefish up here, here's one of my breeder males. He's uh, a stud, in my opinion. Crazy, uh, crazy bright. Um, if I can get the uh, camera to focus here, which I can't really, but you get the point. Um, some random guys, another OB breeder down here. Then uh, these guys are really cool. This is my uh, albino turkis breeding group. They're pretty cool. They're pretty young, still pretty small. Uh, over here we have a group of eight um, albino red empresses. That's a breeding group. A couple males and a handful of females. So pretty cool. Um, my six-year-old son's um, glowfish tank that uh, he likes. 
And then finally another uh, OB uh, breeding group up, up here, which I uh, really love this uh, OB male here. He's really nice orange pink uh, body with a light blotching, so I think he's pretty cool. So anyways, I think that'll be it. I'll just wrap up the, uh, as my tank lights are turning off here on their timers, good timing. Uh, this will be the, uh, <laughs> perfect. This will be the uh, wrap up of the fish room. I will make more videos as I fill these tanks up and the lights turn off on me here at uh, nine o'clock at night. That's, uh, that's perfect timing. So I'll go ahead, that being said, I'll go ahead and wrap this up. I am going to be filling this tank with uh, the 120 gallon tank with fish this week and uh, we'll see what else uh, we get into. So as always guys, thanks for watching. I will talk to you on the next one. Much more to follow. Blue, let me see her, the blue.